My name's Jane Devery and I'm Curator of Contemporary Art. I'm going to talk today about this painting behind me, which is Rosalind Piggott's painting called Unfolding Flower Cloud Space No. 2. Rosalind Piggott is an established uh, contemporary artist who's based in Melbourne. She's been painting and making works for several decades and her work often touches on immaterial ideas, ethereal um, concepts. She has a very refined poetic sensibility. Uh, this painting dates from 2005 and it really reveals the influence of Japanese culture on Rosalind's practice. Uh, she first went to Japan as artist in residence in Saitama in regional Japan in 1998 and Japanese culture has had this lasting impact on her work. I made the work in 2005 to 2006 and at the time I actually was occupying a studio in Flinders Lane and it was in a way a kind of golden era for artists in the city. Thinking back to that time it was probably about eight years after um, a residency that I had in Japan in the Saitama prefecture. So finally in the late 90s I did get this wonderful opportunity to visit. So I guess this work very much pertains to in a way the spirit of the cherry blossom and so that's what we're going to try and work with today. Flowers appear in Rosalind's work right throughout her practice in different guises. Cherry blossom is so revered in Japan that people come out to celebrate when they're in bloom. On the times that I've visited Rosalind in her studio, um, I've always noticed that there's beautiful displays of flowers, quite often things that she's just collected on her daily walks around Fitzroy. Um, but also orchids and there's certain flowers that um, like cherry blossom and peonies which, and magnolia which really feature in her, her life but also make appearances in her painting in, in whatever form, whether that's the representation of a scent profile or an intense colour that comes out in, in the paintings. I'm using the Yamazakura which is the mountain uh, cherry blossom, also Shakuyaku which is the uh, Peony. So the Jinchoge, which is the Daphne, I'm using those flowers. This is the Yamazakura. So Hokuto is removing some of those branches and we're saying sorry to the branches in our hearts because they're being removed from their friends. But they're being removed to create what is known as a mizugawa, which means a clear edge around the water so that the flowers and the specimens arrive clearly out of the water. The little leaf there yeah, um, very beautiful. doing a, its own kind of dance. And the Daphne is a sort of generally a small bush, so that the way Hokuto has placed it there is um, definitely honouring the nature of the plant itself. The scent is also glorious, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These particular peony coral charm are, um, they are glorious because they do this operatic thing of opening and opening. If you have this arrangement <clears throat> for a week or so in your house, the peony will open to be potentially about that size and it will fade as well. So it will fade from a bright coral like that. Look how glorious that it's like it's got a light shining inside of it. And it will fade to a, a, a kind of a coral and pinks and eventually almost like a bleached Naples yellow colour. I've, I've done paintings of that progression actually, so I know that, I know that progression very well. <laughs> Our flowers are an enduring presence in my life and in my work. So this arrangement com completed. It's absolutely gorgeous. 
for the viewer, we hope that you've enjoyed the collaboration and that it's something that you may feel inspired to create at home. Thank you. Thank you, Hockey. Thank you.